Hey, what's up, guys? So in this gameplay, I bring you another high kill Rebirth Island win. Now, this gameplay is a little bit different than the ones that I normally upload. I don't have any loadout to go over, considering I already went over both the weapons I was using in this gameplay, nor do I really have any tips to go over in this introduction. This is just a really good game that I wanted to share with you guys. I'm not going to lie, this game started off kind of rough. We died a few times, but towards the end, I was the last alive and managed to get 10 kills while being the last person alive on my team. There is not really any opportunity to buy back my teammates or else I would have. In my opinion, this is one of the best Alcatraz gameplays that I've uploaded. Let me know what your guys' opinions are on me uploading gameplays like this without any real context to them. This is the first time I've done this in quite a long time. I usually have something to go over in the introduction. Feel free to leave a comment below if you guys like seeing stuff like this, just high kill games. And that's basically all I really have to say in this introduction. As always, I hope you guys do enjoy the video and thank you guys for watching the gameplay. Like there's definitely like really good players, obviously, but really good players all died at the same, you know? Little Timmy's camping in bushes with the DMR to be tapping you from 200 meters away. Like, the doof doof meta. You push anybody and you get shotgun by a fire shotgun. Definitely a small skill gap for sure. Blackout had a bigger, bigger skill gap, no doubt. If you're about a blackout, you're about a blackout. 100%. I was bad at blackout. No, you weren't real. We've done viewer games before, right? I remember you being cracked. You dropped like a 60 bomb with us. I guess what I'm trying to say is, is that the reason, in my opinion, why this game has such a small skill gap is because all the broken metas that come out over and over again and the time to kill. It basically sums up everything I was just talking about. The time to kill is longer and there wasn't so many broken metas. I'd say the skill gap would be a little bit like higher, you know? That's not even his teammate. Yeah, we are not doing solo spots today. Mm -mm. I know I've already said that like 20 times. We're not going to do solo spots today. A good player can die to a bad player a lot easier than a good player would die to a bad player in like blackout, you know? Like a bad player in blackout, there's so many variables in every gunfight, so much equipment that anybody could use that could give them an edge in a gunfight. You have to say that like think strategically. This game is kind of just like you see somebody you do this and you hold the right trigger for 0.5 seconds and then and then they die. You know? And this game has like twice as much aim assist as Blackout had. Like way more aim assist than Blackout. I'm his teammate. You know, they sold a bunch of shit in the store. I feel like they were testing what they could get away with selling, you know, seeing if people would buy it or not. I feel like Blackout was a test. Like the whole game itself. It's like a test for, for Activision. I don't know. They barely updated Blackout at all. Never. Like barely updated ever and they kind of like just abandoned it pretty early on in its life cycle i don't know it's just like a weird theory that i read a long time ago on reddit if it's on reddit it's got to be true right everybody's right on reddit pretty sure I'm trolling guys. I I'm, I'm trolling. <laughs> Love the videos. Hey, thank you for coming to check out the Twitch Loon. I'm glad you I'm glad you enjoyed the YouTube videos, dude. Thank you. I'm 
It's because they're still sitting on the White House, beaming my teammates as they land in. They are so bored. They've been there for like five and a half minutes straight. Wait, Blue's dead. I'm so sorry, Blue. I didn't even realize this until right now. We killed him. Yo, what's up, Armada? Yeah, Blackout, I don't know. I, I miss, Blackout felt like an actual BR. This kind of feels like like a game mode in, in multiplayer, almost, sometimes. Blackout was like a true BR. And I really liked how they used like a lot of locations from old Black Ops games because it made it like nostalgic, you know? I just thought that was super cool. Is this the swamp body you were talking about? Look at this, dude. Doing a handstand work, dude. He's got, he's got the moves for sure. Get shit on somehow, dude. I don't understand. He's got the moves for sure. I really liked how they changed the seasons on the blackout map too, and I know a lot of people were calling it lazy, but like. They were for like three changes to the map and it like freshened it up every couple months, you know? They had like the dark map, they had the gloomy map, they had the, the bright sunny like springtime map. Like, I always thought that was cool. I haven't done anything like that in this map. Around Verdansk, I should say. about to get DMR'd by the kids on Doc's roof. Maybe not. We're literally $100 short of buying one of our teammates. Where did the helicopter go? Did somebody steal the helicopter? Did somebody actually take the helicopter? And I just like didn't see it. I'm sus.
Bro, that's so crazy. Man's had like 45 kills. Let's go. <laughs> that was good. That was a good game. That started out so bad.